Okay, Dawn back here with the uh, AS Rock uh, desktop Windows 7 virus scan with Dr. Webb Kruelt. I let it run overnight and uh, it still shows where it was in the bar. And, uh, but it's still scanning. I can see the. Uh, See it moving through files, or trying to anyway. Can't read it and hold the front camera very well. Let's see. Okay, it's in uh, yeah, documents and settings, data, roaming, uh, my, oh, okay, my phone explorer, Alcatel. It's one of my phone backups, I guess. Thought I had them all put in downloads, but. Like some of them might have put their set, might have went to the default location. Those are some things I might could delete. Let me back up here just so I can read the screen myself. Um, only the one threat still, the one that I definitely want to get rid of. Um, makes me think it's, uh, let's see, it's moving. I uh, when it got up, I saw that it was still running. And I just let it run for you know it's been five, six. So it's been running since I looked at it, it's been running about four hours, I guess. So that's like I don't even know twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen hours, something like that that it's been since I went to bed I'm not talking about the whole six six or eight hours I let it run before then so that's ex pains, excruciatingly painstakingly slow and it's not that much data I mean it's uh, let's see yeah this is a 250 gigabyte hard drive and it does only have 20 gig left on it you know that's a good amount of data but I've I've seen it go faster with other programs on a lot more data than that. You can usually do like two, three, twenty gigabyte hard drives in a co in that much time or close to it. So uh, I hate to let it quit since it found something different than the others did. But right now nothing seems to be moving. Let's see. But I th saw some of that. And that line, you know, the address of where it's at, uh, moving a minute ago. Um, and the machine it doesn't seem to be in any trouble. Let's see. It's not like it's running out of memory or anything. Let me minimize this so I don't accidentally stop it or something messing around here. Midnight Commander, let's just open up Midnight Commander. That's a twin panel file manager. Real low resources. That's working just fine. So, yeah, it's not acting up. Let's see. Um, yeah, there we go. Make system monitor. That's what I want. Okay, so the CPU is a dual core. So, well, it'll show you kind of a graph in a minute here. Memory 736 out of 1.7 gigabyte usable memory. You got 2 gig of memory in that. Some of that's being used for video memory. On here, it's got an uh, onboard video chip. Let's see, CPU. Eight system monitors using the most of anything right now, and then next is uh, Xorg, so that's cool. Yeah, this one, this is a good uh, monitor. It tells you everything you need to know. System monitor. This is. Uh, oh, this is what the, I was like. What? That's not what's on here. This is what we're, what this rescue disk is running on. You bet to uh, twelve point oh four precise. Precise, yeah, precise. 
uh, memory 1.7 gigabyte AMD Athlon dual core 4050E available disk space 35.9 gigabytes I guess that's counting my SD card and the hard drive all together okay so yeah the the graph on the processor is good nothing's overworked so it's just really slow going here I really want this to finish but I don't like this thing running when I'm sleeping it warms up the room it's, luckily it's not real bad but uh, I don't and it, you know I, I, it had, didn't bother me really some of them are loud enough they'll wake me up and I, you know you hear something you're not used to when you're sleeping they'll wake you up and the lights on them sometimes bother me but uh, I guess it'll be alright I just sure do hate uh, if it don't get through this evening I might, I'm, before I go to bed this next time I might just shut it down delete this one thing and then use a use VBA rescue on it I'm probably going to do that anyway because uh, my kind of rule of thumb is I keep scanning until I get a zero zero threat scan and uh, I suppose if I had a real system I would pick certain well you can't I mean you don't know it's kind of like throw, rolling the dice you don't know which one's going to find what which which software so you know you I don't know how I could make a a system of like use this one first and the other one next and so on and so on. I used to kind of try to do that but I started realizing just how random it is over the years as to what's going to find what so uh, and because it's always changing every day you know probably every few hours if you want to get down to it um, as to what has been developed and as they say put out in the wild and you know what's been discovered so um, and what software makers uh, get put into their software you know so just let it run we'll see how it goes okay this not about 